Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Hey, good. good evening. How are you? Edwin, hi, huh? I'm fine. Yes, I thought the class started, but no, I'm okay. Good. What about you? Um, I'm fine. Are you at home? Yes. Do you start in the platform or no? No, I forgot. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I forgot. What's up that I told you yesterday? Hi, coach. Yeah, and the coach is not here. Yeah, I'm sure I can hear you. Hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, you are here. <laughs> Yeah, we can hear you, teacher, but I can't see you. What's up? Hello, hello. Yeah, we can see you now. Hello. Okay, I'm testing the microphone right now. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, coach. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Emma. Good evening, everybody. One, two, three. Anybody who can, can say something on the microphone so I can listen to you? Brandy, Norma, Hi. Edna, can you hear me? Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes, we can hear you. It seems that you can hear me, but I can't hear you. That's an issue. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to check the, yeah. this. The yeah, teacher. Can you say something now? One, Brandon two, is mute. Sorry, you can hear me, teacher? Seems that, yes, it's working right now. You can hear me, but I cannot hear your voice. So there's something wrong with this. Uh huh. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Um, Can you hear now? Okay, so we have an issue here with the hearing you. Something wrong. Let me check the buttons are working. Yes, no. Yes, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to turn, connect this again. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I. it seems that my microphone is working, but I cannot hear you. So, um, okay, let me see if I can later. Maybe there's a false connection there because for a moment I listened to you. Okay, Brenda, go ahead. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Yes. Ah, okay. So I think it was an issue with the with the cable. Um, yeah, the thing is that I ha I hadn't used this uh, headset in a long time, and my Bluetooth uh, earphones uh, just got discharged and uh, uh, and are not charging for some reason. So it it always happens. So um, the most important is that we're here. Everybody's okay. I hope. I see 11 participants already connected. Uh, let's see if the rest of your classmates join us in a moment. Um, so nice to see you again, Brandy, Norma, Edma, Melvin. Melvin's dog, he's, he's really cute. 
<laughs> Thank you. That's yes, that's my baby. Hey, baby. Melvin, the class is just for one or for two. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but what's she. What's your dog's name? You know. Sorry. What's your dog's name? Uh, his name is Baby. She calls name Baby. Baby. Okay. Yes. She's hey. your baby. <laughs> yes, he's my baby. <laughs> okay, Giselle, Yancy, Jorge, Alberto, Nelson, Norma, Leslie, and Oscar. Good evening. Hi, good evening. It's good, good evening. to see you again. Good, good evening. Um, okay, perfect. So, uh, yeah, Nelson can only listen, cannot use the microphone. Okay, no problem. Um, he's working right now, I suppose. That's the reason why. Okay, so uh, I was listening that some of you were already checking the platform. So that's excellent that you started working on the platform. Um, and for the rest, don't forget that you have to enter the platform before Friday, okay? Before Friday. Uh, Friday is the last day, but I don't recommend you do everything in the last minute, okay? Or leave everything for the last minute. It's not the best idea. Okay, so um, we're going to get started with today's class. Let me just share this slide with you. Uh, wait a second. Uh, okay, this is the one that we're going to use for the activity, the first activity. Okay, uh, so we're going to continue getting to know each other. And one of the things that I like to do uh, when I start my classes is to practice a little bit of speaking, okay? Uh, so, because in the end, you know that that is the most important skill, the most important ability, but at the same time is the ability that we don't practice a lot. I mean, we listen to music, we watch videos, we read sometimes, but, and we don't write normally, okay? Maybe just chatting, right? But it's not enough. But to communicate in the real world, face-to-face, uh, -face, we need speaking. Uh, so for that reason is that um, I like to start with speaking activities. And um, <clears throat> my advice for you is that you try to uh, adapt, adapt your environment, right, to English. So for example, your cell phone, if you can change your cell phone to English setting, that would be great. Uh, if you, for example, uh, let's say you, you like to read, then you, I recommend you to, to get a book in English, right? For you to practice reading that. Uh, if you have your social networks, right? Instagram, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. You can modify the settings so that you have everything in English. Uh, if you use YouTube, for example, I suggest you follow channels. Uh, you will see my cat in a, right now. It's, uh, no, you didn't see him, but he's it's right here. Um, uh, okay, there he is. Uh, okay, now we're going to move on. And um, so changing things to, to English is, great so you are more exposed and um basically just that for the moment let me uh check this out right here yeah right here so i'm going to show you a little roulette okay a little roulette that has some numbers and some questions for every number so we're going to spin the wheel right spin the wheel uh, and you will answer the question that you get according to the number. So the numbers go from one to nine, okay? One to nine, and uh, it's right here. Let me show it to you. Okay, can you see anything on your screen right now? Yes, no? No teacher. No, not oh, yet. No. Okay. no teacher. Okay, perfect, no problem. All right, it's loading. Yeah, it's a little slow, but it's working. Okay, we'll go with this one. Okay, how about now? It's loading, the 
Just wait. Guys, yo soy inglés corporativo has started screen share, sharing, but it's stuck there. <laughs> it's stuck there. Okay. It's loading. The screen sharing is loading. It says there. Está cargando. Okay, so yesterday we practiced a conversation, right, about traveling. Um, we discussed different questions. And um, we also had the opportunity to read a conversation, okay, uh, about Puerto Rico, right? And um, we, okay, now, can you see it? Yeah, it's ready. Okay, perfect. Yes. So as you can see, we have some uh, questions here, except number nine. So we're going to spin the wheel and everybody will get, will get an opportunity to answer. So let's start with the first volunteer. Please raise your hand if you want to answer the first question. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, Brandy is the first one. And then we'll continue with the next. So for, okay, Melvin is the second volunteer, excellent. Okay, so we have Brandy, then uh, Melvin. Okay, so number the first number for you is, Brandy, number four. Music you like or dislike or and dislike. What kind of music do you like and what kind of music do you dislike? Well, I, I don't like the real. This kind of the new music and mm -hmm. for dance, I love the electronic music and the okay. like old music from 80s. 80s and 90s. And 90s. I In think English. This... Yeah, in English, of course. Okay, okay. Excellent. Um, and you don't like Perreo, okay? That's the only music that you don't like, right? Okay. Thank you for sharing. Uh, we continue with the next volunteer, Melvin. The number for you is number seven. What's your favorite movie or book, Melvin? Mm, I, I think I don't have favorite movie, but I like mm, comedians. And, and yes, comedy, sorry, and action movies. Okay. And I like um, sometimes see movies when when our vice based in in real real life, for example, uh, casos reales. I don't know. Yeah, real, 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 real life, real life yeah. events, or they are also called biopics. Mm -hmm. yes. Biopics, movies based on real life events. Yes. You're on mute, teacher. You're on mute, teacher. teacher your, your microphone is off, teacher. Okay, now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I was trying to move the, the, the screen to the other side. Now, uh, I think it's starting to rain here in San Miguel. Hmm. Okay, guys, where are you from? I, I forgot to ask you that question yesterday. Can you write in the chat where you are from, please? Exactly, like in what city you live? Okay, write your answer in the chat. San Salvador, are you took the peque? Okay, nice. Thank you, Brandy. So Yapango, Jenny, okay. Concepción de Ataco, Leslie, Samuel, Robert, uh -huh, Alberto. Que Saltepeque, okay. Uh, wow, you, living in a taco must be really nice, Leslie. Okay, San Salvador, Tacuba, Tacuba I watch a place. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. 
It's like that Ciudad Delgado, San Juan Opico in La Libertad, nice. San Salvador, Tecoluca, San Vicente. Okay, Susana, Giselle is from San Juan Opico. Okay, and we have Santa Tecla, Ciudad Delgado. Cojutepeque, Adán. Nice. So we have a mix of places here. That's excellent. We can have a tour around El Salvador here. Olaquilta, imagine that, Jesus is from Olaquilta. Okay, thank you for sharing. Send pupusas, Nelson. Yeah, delivery, pupusas for delivery, correct. Okay, Norma is El Salvador and Okay, thank you for sharing. Now we continue with the next volunteer. Uh, we already have Brandy, Melvin. Uh, the next one is going to be... Number one, it's for Edma. Who is someone that you admire, Edma? Uh, my father. Your father? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's about family, but about someone famous that you admire? Oh, sorry. Or someone famous that you like, for example, that you say is a great actor or um, is the, a good writer? Uh, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Yes. Okay, you like Bruno Mars, interesting. Uh, we continue with the next one. And that would be, let me see the next bullet here. Jancy. Yancy, you got the number, wait a second, uh, number four, we already had that one. Number eight, your goals for the future. What is something that you would like to do in the future? Yancy? ¿Qué significa goals, teacher? Goals is like objectives or let's say like dreams that you have to for the future. So it's metas. Something, mm -hmm. something that you want to do in the future. In the, yes, exactly. How do you say obtener? To get. I get uh, my visa. To get a visa, okay. To go to the United States. And travel. To travel, uh huh. Okay, excellent. That's one goal, one important goal. We continue with the next one. Uh, next volunteer is going to be Jose Luis. You've got the number. Wait, not number four. We already mentioned that one. Number six. Why you decided to study English? What is the reason why you are studying English, Jose Luis? Uh, I would like to learn English because my mother likes this language. And my father too, uh, too like it too. Okay, excellent. Okay, so that's another question that I want to ask everybody. What is the reason why you are studying English? Guys, can you please write the reason, uh, the most important reason why you are studying English? Okay, write it in the chat. Write it in the chat, please. Uh, one reason why you are studying English. Okay, for example, I studied English because I like the language and I wanted to to have opportunities to work in the future as a translator or interpreter. Those were the two reasons why I decided to study English. Okay, so you can write it in the chat, your reason to study English. It's important to know why you are here. Okay, for me, it's important to know that. So write it in the chat because it's a very important language. Leslie, thank you. Uh, Brandy, you raise your hand. What is your answer or your question? I'm not. Is oh, you're writing the chat. Thought, okay, perfect. I thought we were going to say something and I have to be the first one. No, no, in the chat, <laughs> it's okay. Because you love it and you're going to live in the United States. Okay, excellent. Because you like to learn so much and it's necessary in this time. Yes, in the present it's necessary. It's not just an option, right? It's almost an obligation for, for people who work or want to travel or get a better job. Better, a better salary, right? More opportunities. Okay, continue writing your, your reasons, please, in the chat. And we continue with the next volunteer. After uh, Jose Luis, English. we can- You only speak English and Spanish? What? In my case? Yeah. Oh, uh, 
Well, I speak Caliche. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, in 2012, I started to learn French. The problem is that I stopped. I, I stopped studying, and after that, I lost practice. But I I was uh, in the, in my basic level of French uh, some years ago, some years in the past, like 20. I mean, 10 years ago. So that is the other language that I was learning French. What, what so, the, purpose? the purpose, I just like the language. I just like the language. And I had the opportunity to study for free. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it. But wow. then okay. but then I stopped. I stopped. It's, it, that is the, the reason why. But yeah, I love the language, it's beautiful. Um Jeremy Pell, Freddie Marquez, yes, we are Professor Danglais, um, um, Javit and San Miguel. Uh, and then just basic things like that. I like to use uh, Civil Play or Merck Zivo Group or, or Boa. I, I it's just it, use it's just, you have to, you, uh, you know, like the pronunciation had to be so uh, different. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, it, it's different. It's different to English and Spanish. But if you know English and Spanish, it is easier to learn French. It I is really? easier to learn French mm -hmm, because it's a combination of uh, of, of those two languages and a little bit more. But yes, if you know English and French, it's easier to learn French. I mean, if you know English and, and Spanish, it's easier to learn French. Porque se ve bastante la influencia del inglés y el español en, en, en el francés, así que ya llevan una buena base si aprenden los dos idiomas. Okay, wow. si aprenden los idiomas. Yeah. Ajá. Okay, so next one. Uh, Evelyn, question for you. Uh, number... Things that you are afraid of. What are you afraid of, uh, Evelyn? Eh, afraid of. Eh, ¿A qué le mm, tiene miedo? ¿A qué le tengo miedo? A die. I'm afraid of die. I'm afraid of. Of the, my parents or a, some a family. Okay. I don't know. Uh, you're it's, afraid of, of that. Okay. But what about but, for but, me? What, but what about uh, animals or insects? Are you afraid of specific animal or specific thing? For example, I'm afraid of, of snakes. I'm afraid of snakes. Yo le tengo pánico a las serpientes. I'm afraid of snakes. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. yeah. Snake, I, I, I afraid, I afraid mm -hmm. the snake um, spiders, a maybe scorpion, <laughs> a, a, scorpions. Okay. Scorpion. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, next volunteer is going to be Norma. Norma, the number for you is the number. Let's go with number. Wait a second, wait a second. Number one, two, three. Number three, um, your talents. What are your talents? My talent is playing soccer. Okay, wow. you're good at playing soccer. Yeah. Interesting. Which position? Okay. A volante. Midfielder. Midfielder. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, midfielder. <laughs> yes, midfielder. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, Sylvia, uh, number two, what are your hobbies? Please, the rest, write your hobbies in the chat. I, that's something interesting for me as well. For example, my hobbies are traveling, taking pictures, and I love watching movies and going out with my family and friends. Those four hobbies, okay? Uh, so please share some of your hobbies in, in the chat. Uh, Sylvia, if you can activate your microphone, please. Uh, my hobbies is uh, listening to music and read the books and, and tomar fotografías. Taking pictures, taking pictures, uh, yes. Taking pictures. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, continue reading the answers in the chat. Thank you because it's necessary to learn. 
because English is, you need a, a new job, okay? A better job, more job opportunities. It's a language that offers opportunities, opportunities, and you like English to travel, says Giselle. Uh, language is important. It's important opportunity to work and travel, Susana. And Alberto, you say, because you like the language, it's nice. And in the future, you would like to travel and work on a mission from the ONU. Okay, United Nations. Um, hobbies, playing soccer, video games, listen to music. Thank you, Jenny, Edwin, uh, for sharing your answers. Same as Brandy and Leslie. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, continue sharing your hobbies in the chat. We continue with the next volunteer. We finish with one more participation. Uh, Jesus, can you activate your microphone and answer the question number five? Food that you like and dislike. I like everything but uh, mariscos. Mariscos. Uh -huh. Seafood. Seafood, okay. The seafood I don't like because uh, I have a stomach. You get a stomach ache. Okay, a stomach ache. Okay, you get a stomach ache. Okay, so probably you you are a little, uh, let's say intolerant, intolerant to to seafood. Probably that would be the reason. Okay. Yeah. Or allergic. Yeah. Or allergic. yeah. Okay. So. Um, Thank you for sharing, Jesus, and everybody else. Excellent job. I love the answers. Okay, playing soccer, listening to music, playing video games, says Jose Luis. Thank you. Uh, listen to music, watch something on TV, and play with my children. Alberto, nice. Cooking Mexican food, Jancy, nice, delicious. And pupusas, and listening to music. Yeah, music and pupusas is a good combination. <laughs> okay, let's continue with... Uh, Jorge Alberto says that seafood too. Hobbies are cooking and playing with my son, says Edna, driving my motorcycle. Normally when we, use, when we talk about hobbies, we use the verb in ING. For example, you say, I like watching movies. I like listening to music. I like cooking. I like reading. I like driving or riding my motorcycle. I like uh, playing soccer. So we use ING when we talk about hobbies. Mm -hmm. Can I say something? Sure, Brandy, go ahead. Oscar is not drive motorcycle, he is Riding, riding. Uh -huh. It's broad. Riding, mm -hmm. ride. Riding motorcycle. That would be a hobby, right? Motorcycle. My yeah. apologies. I like riding my bike, my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Or you can say my bike. Uh -huh. People get it. Okay, like that. Excellent. So we have two people, three people. Well, two people who love their motorcycle, right? Uh, Brandy and Oscar. Okay. Nice. So we continue. I'm afraid of motorcycles, to be honest with you. I'm a little afraid of that. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, we continue with the next uh, the next slide. So right now we're going to focus on the next topic. Yesterday, as you remember, we studied adjectives, okay, uh, to describe things. For example, uh, if I if I show you, for example, if I show you a picture of Lionel Messi. What is a characteristic, one characteristic that you think about Messi? One adjective. A rich man. He's rich. He's famous. He's famous. How do you say talentoso in English? Ability. He's a short. He's short, okay, bajito, yes, he's short. <laughs> How do you say talentoso? That's a question. Mm -hmm. Talentoso. Talented. Talented, correct, talented. Hi. Okay, I like to drive my car on the road. Okay, Jorge, I like to drive, drive my car too. Okay, 
So uh, in this case, uh, there are more adjectives, okay, that we can practice. So my recommendation is that you practice uh, describing things and people, okay? For example, you can describe your family, right? If I ask you the question, what is your mother like or what is your brother like? So you start talking about physical characteristics or, and also personality, right? Characteristics. So in that way you practice, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Now we continue with the next topic. The next topic for today is adverbs before adjectives. So uh, adverbs before adjectives. In this case, you remember the conversation that we had yesterday, right? So in the conversation from yesterday, we had uh, the opportunity to see the examples. Okay, if you see Eric, he says, wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Really nice city. Nice, really nice. Nice, nice is the adjective. Okay. And the okay. adverb is really, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. uh, now, some fantastic beaches, some fantastic beaches. So some is an adverb of quantity, okay? Adverb of quantity. When you say many, some, okay? So those are some quantifiers, some fantastic beaches. I have many intelligent students in my class. Uh, so many is the adverb, Intelligent is the adjective. A very expensive, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Very is the adverb. Expensive is the adjective, okay? It's not very expensive. No es muy caro, right? Pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable. Adverb and adjective. Pretty, in this case, is not beautiful is similar to very, okay? Pretty reasonable, los precios son bastante razonables. Pretty reasonable, okay? So somebody can tell you, for example, hey, you are pretty tall. You are pretty tall. No le están diciendo, eres bonito, alto o alta. No, cuando le dicen esa, en, es, en ese caso, el uso de pretty es bastante, okay? Pretty, Tall, bastante alto, eres bastante alto, okay? Uh, for example, in my case, I consider that I'm pretty tall, okay? Um, compared to the majority of the people, I, I am tall. Uh, fairly big city, fairly big, fairly big is another example. Too big, another example, adverb, adjective. Okay, so if you see, we use uh, the combination of adverb and adjective. Now, I have to mention something important here. This is about grammar, okay? And a lot of people think that grammar is, is boring or, or grammar is complicated or grammar is confusing. But in my experience, grammar is not difficult. Grammar is important, it's necessary. Uh, because when we understand grammar, we use the language in a correct way. So it's easier to communicate uh, with other people and that they understand what we say. For example, if you say, me, food, I understand that you are hungry, that you want food. But imagine if you go to a restaurant and you say, me, food. You sound like Tarzan, right? So I'm como Tarzan, yo Tarzan, right? So we need grammar. We need grammar to, for the structure, okay? So grammar is the, grammar is the, the skeleton, right? The skeleton of the body. Es como el esqueleto, nuestro esqueleto, ¿verdad? El que sostiene el lenguaje. So with grammar, we structure things, okay? Uh, la gramática es como la estructura de, un, de, un, de una casa, por ejemplo. Los hierros, ¿verdad? Um, mm -hmm. Sin eso, todo queda más débil. 
Um, so it's necessary to learn a little about grammar, okay? But not in a traditional way, not in a traditional way. Uh, it has to be something practical, something practical, okay? Uh, so let's move on. Uh, next one, uh, we have examples of the adverbs plus adjectives. Okay, I need one volunteer, please, to read these examples here. I'm going to select. Uh, I did too. Okay, Brandy. Wait a second. Who? Ah, oh, Jenny. Sorry. No es tengo la voz todavía. Creo que Jenny fue la que dijo. San Juan. Okay. San Juan is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice city. Uh, it's fairly big. It's fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not very expensive place. Nice. Nice. It's too. It's too nice and it's too crowded. For me. For me. Okay. For example, in my opinion, okay, I live in Samuel. For me, Samuel is crowded and is noisy, but I consider that San Salvador has more people and more noise. So for me, uh, I, I think that uh, living in San Salvador uh, at the moment for me would be a little difficult at the beginning, right? Because it's too crowded and too noisy. Don't forget the pollution. And the more, the more cars, the more people, more pollution. Yeah, that's another problem, right? But for, imagine people who live in, in um, Ataco, right? Or in uh, Apaneca. Apaneca, in, all, in El Pital, right? So it's a different uh, scenario, right? It's really nice. It's very cold. Uh, it's very quiet, OK? So every place is different. Now, adverbs. Uh, Brandy, can you please read the adverbs that appear in this little box here? OK. Extremely, very, really, very, really, mm -hmm. uh, fairly, uh, somewhat. Some, somewhat, correct, somewhat. Okay, so extremely is at the top and somewhat is at the bottom, right? Extremely. For example, what place, what place, what, let's say, uh, what place is, do you think that is extremely, extremely hot? Extremely hot San in El Salvador. La Unión. <laughs> Samuel or La Unión, right? It's extremely hot. Um, which place do you think is in El Salvador, right? We're talking about combination of traveling and, and grammar, right? Which place in El Salvador, tourist place, do you think that is very beautiful? Very beautiful, a tourist place in El Salvador that is very beautiful. Apaneca. El Apaneca. La Libertad. Mm -hmm. it's, Alegría City. It's very beautiful. Look and El Salvador. Look and the, volca okay. the volcano in Santa Ana. I the forgot the, the name. The volcano, right? It's uh, Ilamatepec, I think. Yeah. It's, hmm. I think it's, a, it's next to the Cerro Verde, right? That's right. Yeah, I think it's Ilamatepec or Volcano Santa Ana. Okay, so uh, well, yeah, that the Ilamatepec volcano. Now, uh, which place in El Salvador do you think that is really mm, let's say uh crowded crowded the capital here is san salvador the capital city yes the capital city is really crowded a uh, pretty let's say which place do you think is pretty small it's pretty small a taco is small. A taco is small. Yes, a taco is a small place. You can visit different places quickly. Why you are too? La Unión is really small. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. small. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 
Uh, which place do you think is fairly uh, expensive? It's fairly expensive. Here in San Salvador, in Santa Tecla. <laughs> the Santa house Tecla? is so expensive. If you want to rent or if you want to buy a house. For, yeah, for renting, uh, San Salvador is expensive. Uh -huh. Antiguo Cuscatlán, también. Antiguo Cuscatlán, correct. And we have, yeah, we have other places also, right? Um, so, then we continue with the last one, somewhat. Somewhat is eh, something, right? It's a little, somewhat. Um, for example, which restaurant, which restaurant, uh, do you think that is somewhat, somewhat uh, expensive? A famous restaurant that is somewhat expensive. It's not too expensive, it's not too cheap. Little Caesar, well, Little Caesar is not a restaurant, it's just El Arriero. Mm. El Arriero, okay. El La Arriero. Hacienda. La Hacienda. Las Romas. Somewhat, somewhat, right? Ay, no, La Pampa is caro. expensive. The most That's expensive very expensive. The picnic. Mm. Ah, picnic the is expensive. Mm -hmm. okay. is expensive. Yes, okay. Yes, the Roma is expensive. So, mm. somewhat is algo, algo, más o menos, right? Somewhat. So, somewhat expensive, uh, you can say, for example, uh, I don't know, las cebollinas, uh, right? Somewhat, somewhat expensive. Yeah, somewhat. Algo, not tan caro, pero tampoco tan barato. Okay, somewhat. Okay, next. Let's continue with uh, the exercise, okay? Uh, do you have questions about the adverbs? <laughs> questions? Yes, no? This is your moment to ask questions. No, is, is clear, everything's clear? Okay, so yeah, I, it's clear. I need to tell you two things <laughs> that you have to remember. You have to remember two things. Tienen que recordar dos cosas sobre los adverbios y los adjetivos. Um, adjectives, adjectives describe nouns. Los adjetivos sirven para describir los sustantivos, los nombres, right? For example, beautiful house, big car, expensive restaurant, important class, uh, intelligent person, etc., etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so the position is before the noun, but antes de el, lo que describe, lo que modif o, o lo que, a lo que se refiere, right? It's not, in Spanish, it's the opposite. We say carro rojo, right? But in English, is red car. So we change the position. Okay, adverbs, adverbs, los adverbios son los que pueden confundir un poquito más. Porque los adverbios modifican tres cosas en gramática. Pueden modificar un verbo. For example, I walk, I walk very fast. I walk very fast. Yo camino muy rápido. So I walk fast. I don't believe you. <laughs> yes, because I'm tall, porque soy alto. Ah, uh, okay. how hard you are. Are you? Uh, uh, 183. Oh, wow. So <laughs> I am told. Okay, I walk fast. Uh, I can say uh, my sister drives slowly. Mi hermana maneja lentamente. Slowly. Okay, el adverbio es slowly. So we use, mod modificamos verbos con los adverbios. También modificamos adjetivos, como vemos el ejemplo aquí. For example, I can say, eh, I can say, for example, Las Tunas is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place, okay? But Cuco, really but, but, but Cuco is a very beautiful beach. Okay, el Cuco is a very beautiful beach. So, very beautiful, okay? El adjetivo, el adverbio very modifica al Beautiful, para darle más énfasis, más realce. You can say, uh, for example, I am intelligent, but my brother is more intelligent, more mm -hmm. intelligent. 
Entonces, los adverbios los utilizamos para darle más realce a el adjetivo. ¿Ok? Eh, for example, English is very important. Okay. For example, I can say, eh, French is important, but English is very important. It's really important. It's extremely important. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso le da un, uh, un nivel más. ¿Ok? El adverbio. Y... Lo, la parte más <ríe> compleja también es que los adverbios también pueden modificar a otros adverbios. Por ejemplo, when you say, uh, eh, I walk very fast. I drive very fast. Yo manejo muy lentamente o muy rápidamente. Entonces un adverbio puede modificar a otro adverbio. Uh, so, uh, I can say, uh, my mother cooks very deliciously, muy deliciosamente. For example, it, it doesn't sound so, no es que lo utilizamos en esa forma en español, but it's, it's correct, it's possible. Uh, so, it is possible to modify that, okay? Uh, now, let's continue. Exercise. You're going to match the question with the correct answer. Okay. Uh, so in your notebook, please, you have a notebook, right? Yes? No? Tienen algo en que anotar? Okay. Siempre tienen que tener algo en que anotar. Y un diccionario a la mano. Okay. Aunque sea en el teléfono. Uh, you need to match. Okay. For this exercise, I am going to give you um, three minutes maximum. I think in two minutes you can finish. So you write the number, one, two, three, four, and you write the correct complement, A, B, C, or D, okay? So two to three minutes maximum for you to complete the exercise. Now, okay, do the matching, the question with the correct answer, okay? Your time begins now. Wait a second, two minutes. Okay, there you have it. Time is running. Read the question, read the answer. Only one answer is correct for every question. All right, 20 seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one, time is up. Okay, we'll stop and we're going to check. All right, so um, number one, uh, I am going to ask Evelyn and Jorge. Evelyn, you read the questions 
number one. Mm -hmm. And Jorge, you read the answers, okay? The answers that you think are correct. Okay, go ahead, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. What what cell light is is an interesting place? place? Is it an interesting place? Uh huh. Jorge. Okay, uh, not really. It's too small, and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Okay. Um. So, Seoul, South Korea, right? Okay, it's not so interesting, apparently. Melvin and Edma. Melvin, you read the two questions, number two, and Edma, you read the answers, please. Yes. Do you like do you like your handsome? Why or why not? Okay. Yes, nice. I have is an extremely large and crowded, crowded place, but I love it. I have mm -hmm. excellent restaurant. Hmm. In this case, uh, it's not the correct answer. The answer is D. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> in this case, in this case, yes, the correct yes. answer for number two is not really. It's too really? small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Yes, and and. And in this case, uh, probably you can get confused with it's letter C. C. With the letter C, uh -huh. yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly, okay? Right. Um, so yes, I like it, right? Uh, and then uh, when you're describing a place, when you're describing a place, it can be positive or negative description, right? That's a possibility. Uh, so uh, in this case, let me see, we continue with number three. That would be Jenny and, let me see, and Giselle. Jenny, you read the questions. And um, Giselle, you read the answers, please. What Sydney like? I've never been there. Please. Okay, Giselle, thank you. I don't know if Giselle can activate the microphone or not. If Giselle has problems with the microphone, we can give the opportunity to uh, Leslie. Yeah. Um, ella me hizo la pregunta de have you ever been to Sao Paulo? No, no number three, number three. What's Sydney oh, sorry, like? sorry. Mm -hmm. Where is in a light in the okay. Um yeah, is is very um interesting. Is the amazing place. Okay. Okay. So you say it's very interesting. It's it has what is the answer that you're reading? Sorry. A, B, C, or D? Which should the answer that you read? What's Sydney oh. like? I've never been there. It's letter, uh, letter A. 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 Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Correct. Okay, and the last volunteers, we're going to select uh, Susanna to read the questions, please. And uh, Edwin to read the answers. Okay. Okay. Sería number two. Number four. Number four. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, the baby yes, is crying. It's huh? an extremely large and crowded place, nice. but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. It has excellent restaurants, correct. Okay, class for you guys, excellent job. Now we continue with, uh, wait a second, where are the reactions? Here, reactions, reactions. Okay, I don't see the reaction. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we continue with the next exercise and that's the way that we answer and ask the questions, right? 
uh, when somebody asks you, hey, what's, uh, for example, Tecoluca like? When you listen to that question, okay, es como es Tecoluca. No es como, porque escuchan el like van a pensar, te gusta Tecoluca, ¿verdad? No, what's Tecoluca like? Or what's Soyapango like? That structure, esa estructura es como es, de una descripción, okay? So, for example, if you ask me, what's San Miguel like, teacher? Well, San Miguel is nice, but it's very hot. And there's a lot of traffic in the presence. It's a lot of traffic nowadays. Um, however, the good thing is that there are a lot of businesses that you can uh, visit. And th there are many things in the city, right? It's a complete city. Um, now, we continue with the next one. Um, wait a second, here. So in this exercise, okay, in this exercise, we are going to practice another element. This is called conjunctions, okay? Pronunciation is conjunctions. No conjunction, okay? Uh, the shampoo, no, it's conjunction. So the conjunctions are the words that we use to connect, to connect other words, to connect two words. For example, I like chocolate and coffee. And is a conjunction. I love music, but I hate perreo. <laughs> uh, but is the, the conjunction, okay? However, though, and many others, okay? So those are conjunctions. Now, to read the examples, okay? To read the examples, I am going to ask Jesus. Jesus Abrego, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, please read the examples of conjunctions. It's an exciting city. Uh, Jesus, your microphone is off. Activate it, please. I'm so sorry, teacher, but my internet is not very good. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Don't worry. So I'm going to ask uh, Nelson Adan to help you out, okay? Don't worry, be happy. Okay, Nelson, can you please help uh, Jesus to read examples? Uh, Nelson. Okay. Hi, hi teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. So read Hello. examples, please. Examples. The beer is very ah. Uh, this. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's an um, exciting series. Mm -hmm. And? Um, and the wedding is nice. Yes. It is a big city, but it is not too big. It is Correct. big city. It is a big city. It is not too big. So, so. Though, aunque no es muy grande, uh -huh. yes. It is a, a big, big city. city. It is not to be how, however, however, no sé. However, sorry. however, okay. correct. However, yes, however. <laughs> In this case, however, is the, the pronunciation. Okay. Um, in the exercise, in the exercise, you are going to select the correct conjunction to complete the sentence. Now, what is the, the difference? What is the difference? And, and is when you add one more or one more characteristic. For example, I like bananas, watermelons, and papayas. Okay, so the three, right? When you say, but is a, a contrary opinion. 
right? It's a contrary opinion. So it's an opposing idea. For example, uh, I like bananas, but I don't like, uh, I don't know, I don't like, uh, let's suppose, I don't like um, cranberries, cranberries, okay? I like bananas, but I don't like cranberries. Um, so, but is the contrary, the opposite, okay? Now, though and however, though is a contrast, okay? Aunque, aunque, though. And however, however, you know that however is a very famous word in, in, in English, is what? How do you translate however? Sin embargo. sin embargo, sin embargo, right? Sin embargo, aunque y sin embargo. Uh, so it's similar, it's similar in this case. It's similar, uh, but just to give you an example, we are going to complete number one together. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. What is the correct answer? And or but and and porque and. estamos dando ideas opuestas sino agregándole verdad es bonito mm -hmm. es bonito esto, y también la gente es amigable dos cosas positivas no estamos restándole nada verdad so I can say San Miguel is beautiful but it's hot ahí sí yeah. pongo el contraste el but el sí es bonito pero, sí, pero... muy caliente Uh -huh. <laughs> I am pero, I am pero. Okay, so the correct answer here is but. Now, uh -huh. let's continue with the next one. Uh, so the correct answer was and. and. Okay, number two, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. How oh, that? Easy. And oh. or though? Though. Though, okay. Though. Do es parecido al but, ok. Las calles son, están llenas. Eh, aunque es fácil movilizarse, ok. Es como que está lleno, pero es fluido, ok. So, uh, hay un, algo positivo, digamos, algo bueno, que no influye, no afecta del todo. Ok. Eh, the, weather the weather is, is nice. nice. Summer's, Summer's getting get pretty hot. hot. And or however. 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 However, correct. The weather is nice. However, oh, really? summers get pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little problem. Eso está bien, sin embargo, tal cosa. Okay. Uh, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the markets. Uh, and or but? But. 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 But you have to but. bargain in the markets. Mm -hmm. Ok, la, comprar es genial, pero tienes que regatear, tienes que regatear en los mercados. Ok, the food is delicious, it's not too expensive. And, and, and right, it's positive. Uh -huh. La comida uh -huh. deliciosa y no es muy cara. Ok, number six, it's an amazing city, I love to go there. However, and however, however. however. So le agrego, ok? Es una mm. ciudad increíble y me encanta ir ahí, ok? No, no, Pero no. si yo digo, es una ciudad increíble, sin embargo, me encanta. El sin embargo es como no, pues, bueno. contrario, ¿verdad? Ajá, como contrario. So, in this case, is end. So, congratulations, you did it. So, for today, we're going to end up here. We're going to finish here, guys. So do you have any questions before we finish the class? This is the moment, okay? As the lawyer said, speak now or forever hold your peace. That is a phrase in, in English. Así se dice en inglés. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. Hable ahora o pregunta en el chat de WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. So uh, if you don't have any questions, guys, I hope that everything is clear for you. Ok, espero que no hayan preguntas porque quedó claro y no porque tienen pena de preguntar. Ok, so, uh, o porque ya tienen prisa de irse. 
So uh, that will be all for today's class. Uh, I hope that uh, the information was good for you, was interesting at the same time, and that you uh, understood, right? Understood the difference between adjective, adverb, and conjunctions. We have three, okay? Um, in English, in English, these are called parts of the speech, okay? In English, esto se le llama parte de la oración, parts of speech. Que es algo que tuvimos que haber estudiado en español en alguna parte de nuestra, de, nuestra, de la escuela, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pero ya borramos esa información a veces. Okay, parts of the speech, okay? Normalmente son ocho partes de, de, de la oración, que en inglés, pues, se vean un poquito más para entender el idioma. En español, casi que solo repetimos lo que escuchamos y así aprendemos. <laughs> okay, so, guys, have a nice, have a nice night, okay? Sweet dreams, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, Norma. Bye. Bye. Mucho gusto. Bye. Good night. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Take care. All right. We're finishing the in three. Two, one, let's go to sleep.